Welcome back to Satisfactory. I'm so glad you're here. All right, so we're in the midst of our concrete cathedral and we're about to put in some machinery. Now I realize that this blueprint is actually super complicated and there are a lot of items in here. So we've moved our item storage to the center line here, but we're probably gonna have to refer back to it often. My inventory is just not big enough. And this idea of using the limestone as part of the blueprint, didn't really think about the stacking nature of that. So we need 21,000 limestone to build all the machines that we want. These are all things we're gonna deal with. We've got our bar here, level five bar. It's got our belt, power, um, the this side's machine, this side's machines, light control panels, floors, and lifts. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now I know on this that we want, if you look on that left side there, you can see that we have the return completed concrete coming back this way. And we're sending the limestone down the line that way. So that's how we know that this blueprint is the right blueprint for us. And we want this kind of on I think we want it, it might be exactly there. Let's put one in obviously, and then take a look. So it is right into the, the side of the building here, but we can always adjust that by taking out one of these, one of these. The important question is, Let's put a couple of these in place. Right, so connecting that up there is gonna be interesting. Not impossible. Just drop this like this, and then put that right there. Get rid of this guy. Lift it up there. So really the only downside at this point is that we've blocked the walkway right here. But that's fine. And then we'll receive all the good stuff this way. And then we'll just build this all the way down. I mean, it's a question about like, where do we put the light control panel? We'll find a couple of cool places for those. What do you think? Let's put another one in. If, if all the blueprint collisions will allow it. A little stuck. How we might have to eyeball these. That's what I'm, what it's coming down to. Oh wait, that looks promising. I think that works. Now you do, you should belt this and you belt this. Then we go on the other side and do the same thing for the return.
Gonna have to do that one a little blind. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. With the right amount and type of lighting, I think this will be well on its way. Now, the question is, are we gonna be able to build this without annoying ourselves to the point where it's gonna be impossible to complete it? Because we're always gonna run, run out of stuff, like every other build. What are we out of now? Wire. Let me look at this. We want to keep it on the four. It'll just grab a little bit of everything, I suppose. It's the limestone that's causing the problem. Where did I put that quick wire? Oh, right here at the beginning. Yeah, it's the limestone that's gonna cause the problem here. But all the machines are gonna start ready to go. It'll be up to you to decide if it's worth it. I'm starting to think that maybe it isn't. Maybe not for these bigger builds. know that we need all this quartz crystal. We'll make room for a little bit of limestone here. suddenly had like a a wave of doubt on that click. Don't you hate when that happens? Let's see if we can have resources for two more of these and we'll at least get our initial line done. Right now we're short on beams and concrete, but then we also need a little bit of wire or cable. Let's 
get that cable. Beam some concrete. And all concrete now at this point. We'll just fill up on concrete. I think what we'll do is we'll just connect two of these and the expectation will be that we'll just have to come back and upgrade these belts when we get some better technology. I'll do the numbers here in a second once we've got all these return belts connected. Okay, so <clears throat> we're making each one of our little pods and we do have to connect these upper belts too. We're gonna have to figure a way up there. Each one of these pods has, oh. Wasn't planning that, but okay. Perfectly placed ladder. Each one of these pods has three machines on each floor, right? So if we just take one floor's worth, we've got three machines now. As we found out in our previous video, when we were building the foundations, we did 12 foundations kind of per block, which means we can fit three machines, well, three groups of three machines in each 12 block area. And there are three currently. Um, 12 blocks. At the end of the day, we're building 18 of these blueprints per section. And so that's 24 machines. Uh, hold on one second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. So you end up with somewhere around 480, 560, somewhere in there. Uh, because each one of these machines, ironically enough, has been underclocked to take right around 12 limestone per minute. I'm gonna have to check my other blueprint. I don't think my other blueprint is set like that. This is why you always check your work. I'll whip out the calculator here in a second.
Okay. So the plan is to build 18 of these blueprints per side for a total of 36 blueprints. 18. Each blueprint has six machines. Let's see what the current speed is set to. Consume 12.85 per minute. Time. 18 blueprints, six machines, 12.85? That's not what I said. 12.857. So that's a lot. But if we divide it by two, then the max speed belt can handle that. So between now and then, we're not gonna get max concrete, but we know that because we're not gonna get max limestone input into this thing. There's only a couple of limestone nodes out here anyway. So we're gonna have to build a train and or truck network to get the limestone to here. So once we've got max belt technology, if we desperately need more concrete, we can come out here and make some upgrades and we'll have more concrete. Let's see if we can throw in some get a place here where we can connect this limestone and we'll probably have you know the full weight of the front end built ran out of steel So this whole thing is just going to be a giant platform, so it's okay that we use it to bring in our goods. And it doesn't count if you can't see it, and you won't be able to see it, so don't worry about it. does complicate upgrading, but we're only going to have to do that once. I want to make sure I take out a piece of wall that can easily be replaced. about this one because concrete's a little bit of a bigger icon. So let's make sure it's well below the concrete line here. Yeah, like that. Okay, so over here, we've got some temporary stuff that we want to make, right? It's just like, where do you want to actually connect this? 
one answer would be something like we could whip it out that way and then sort of connect it remotely. And I think that's what we're going to do. Let's rebuild this. Go a little lower underwater. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this for each side too, as a reminder. Gotta think of a quicker way to do this. I am probably going to have to ramp up our technology here rather rapidly. The inability to fly is one of those things you don't recognize until it's foisted upon you. Then you realize, oh, flying is nice. as low as it goes. Let's see if we can... We might have to change our... Oh, wow. Maybe we'll build a little house over here. Level foundation.
Oh, we're going to get all the way here and it's going to be... Nope, nope. If we pull it from here, we can do it. Maybe. Oh, these are directionally incorrect. Okay, those two are in. Now we gotta figure out the... output of the concrete itself. Oh, actually this stuff is so low I could have built it straight on the sea floor. That's cool. Kind of overshot that a little bit, didn't I? Okay, so now that limestone is directly or ready to be directly connected. It's a little bit of crossing the streams though. And I hope you understand all of this is temporary. there getting some of our construction materials out of the way and making good use of them all right let's power this
What color? What color should we use for a concrete cathedral? Oh, boo. I'm thinking something like that. Oh, well, that's Clip City, though. We don't want that. Nice ladder so we can get to this upper level. None of the new limestone seems to be making its way in. Not connected there. What's happening? Oh, we only connected one side. Hmm. For right now, we'll split this. It's probably not running freely anyway. Yeah, we can afford to split this for now. Again, temporarily, just to prove it's all working. So we should have some concrete over here. Look at that. find ourselves a good perspective for that.
Whoops. I think that was my original plan, was to connect all these down here. I don't know if that makes it any easier. Just less wiry. Eh, less wiry might be enough. Waste more parachutes. And the natural inclination is to say, well, just take them off. And then if you take off your parachutes, then you'll jump off a cliff thinking you have it equipped, and then you'll fall through your rapidly reduced health levels. I think I like the power on the floor better. The original plan was a good plan. level of this first level is done. What was that ladder?
my jumping precision jumping is a little off today i feel like half the time i'm jumping too far and the other half when i try to compensate for that i'm not jumping far enough that was good that was perfect Okay, that's working. Everybody's all connected. Everybody's labeled. We all know what's going on. All right. Let's see if we can get... Uh, hmm. It's claiming that we need nine more of those, which that number is odd to me. <laughs> One, two, three... Why would I need nine of those? I think, as always, I've overestimated the amount of stuff I need to build this. I think my original thought was is we would build this all the way down here. Then we would turn this corner. Put three in here, three in here, and three in here, hence nine. All right. Let's grab some more stuff. We picked up a good chunk of the quick wire, but we don't need all that quick wire right now. We need... Looks like cables where it's really at. Cable, cable, cable. Let's get back over to our build bar. And we're short on wire. Yeah, see, mm, building with limestone built in. Really starting to think this is a bad idea. I mean, we already used it all anyway, right? Well, no, not really. Hmm. I'm going back and forth on it. It definitely makes construction Let's say awkward. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and from the last video, I moved the center point. I realized the center point is actually the center of the intersection of this line and this line. All right, and the center of this line and that line. So that's actually our center point, but we're gonna do something with that in a moment. I think we need to go against this wall. Yeah, this lookout tower is not well placed. Let's move it over here. Now we want it off and right against the wall over there. I think that's about right. Just checking my angles. Only downside to this is we're gonna have to, we're not gonna have space to whip these belts. Let's build it and see what happens. I think I'll build half of this and then I'll build the other half off camera. Let's see, because it's just going to be building the same thing again, but with a mirrored image blueprint. How much limestone do we get there? 1200. I think that's exactly the amount we need. I'm gonna look at this belt. It actually might make more sense to 45 degree these. this far into it, we're probably not going to have a ton of limestone to deal with. 
right away. But that's the advantage of underclocking. We're not using a lot of power. That was easy. Kind of trapped in here. Let's get out of here and get up to the next level. And we're going to have to come back and connect all the lighting. happening here. I feel like we're already connected. But if we're already connected, why are oh we're full on concrete on our are we full on concrete all the way outside already? If we are, that was quick. Could have sworn I set up. No. No, this is not connected. That's what it is. Yeah, that's it. We need to get that secondary, the upper line. I was about to say, that's a lot of concrete real fast, if that's the case. But we forgot to connect this upper level. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Okay, how are we going to do this?
First thing we're probably going to do is put a ladder in so we don't have to keep running all around to get back up there. That's the first thing we're going to do. And then we'll probably just connect this as a merger with this one. And we'll just do it. There we go. And that's going to take a second to balance out, but... It's three limestone to one concrete. So whatever we put in should always be able to be taken out. Okay. I think we've got that basic situation resolved. Let's uh, mix it up a little bit. Change up what we're working on. While we make some of that initial concrete, which we might actually need to finish some of this. Okay, so my initial thought would be something like... Let's work on the roof a little bit. If I use tilted wall... The 8 meter tilted wall is a big, big tilted wall. Oh, I need some iron plate. My thought is that we could work on the tilted wall and maybe put the dome in. just kind of get a sense of how that part might work. Checking out our limestone supplies, and they are quite low. Yeah, I, I'm i probably going to take the limestone out of the blueprint before we finish. The benefits aren't just aren't there. And I'm thinking just, I mean, what am I supposed to think? Am I supposed to think roof, literally? And will this corner cap? We should probably figure that out before we go into anything else. Let's see, let's just make sure. Inner corner, four meter.
Yeah, we need silica, but I'm not liking the look of that. I definitely like the idea of this bigger roof and then, or this uh, eight meter top. But if there's not an eight meter, oh, there we go. It's one of these probably. like that and then we need a little corner foundation and then we're done build the axle roof corners when we get up there. I think we've proven that it's safe to use this as our the basis of our design. Uh, I guess there's no reason to guess though. Let's just put a ladder in, climb up there and see what the situation is. Ooh. Haha. <laughs> That's gonna make me want to do something with that. Oh, this is way farther away than I thought it was. I extend our ladder here. Inverted up corner, inverted up corner, one meter.
Just trying to get the roof done in bulk here. Then on top of that, I think we need some organization. Then we're going to try, let's see where we are with our dome with ring like ring light the one I'm looking for. Oh, we're short on reinforced plate. Let's build out a little bit more of the base, just to make sure that we've got all the base done before we run back for the dome pieces. How many pieces of we need four of these, so Ooh, it's gonna be a lot. Six thousand Well, actually, let me just write down of the classic A, I need eighteen. Of the classic B, I need six. And then we can just clear this. And then we can just say, hey, we need four dome with ring light. That'll make our shopping a lot easier. even know if we have the will a jump pad even work it doesn't even look like it's going to get even close to enough of a launch
So what are my thoughts here? It's possible that I should elevate this a little bit so then I could support it. Dome quarter with light. Is that what I called it last time? That's dome with ring light. Dome with ring light, that's the one I want. Just be a matter of, let's see, it is not liking this. Here's what we're gonna do. How tall is this? Foundation. Oh. It's not liking it because it's on a roof tile. Wow. I tell you what, you learn something new every day. Can't build on roof tiles. Huh. Okay. I can build using... That is a basis though. I had planned to elevate this dome on four corners all the way to the ground. I typically use one meter foundations as my roof, but I was trying to get a little thematic with this one. Maybe I should just stick with that, though. All right, if I were looking at this, any obvious methods that we could use to say that it's aligned? I might say that that's about right, right there. But I really can't see it from here is the problem. Let's take you down a couple levels and then put in a ladder and we'll see if we look at it from the top if we see things a little better just jump right over it didn't we There we go. Okay, six. Well, looking at it from the top is probably not better. At least not from the center point. We're gonna have to roll the dice. Is it there or is it there?
Let's try... Yeah, nudging blueprints would be amazing. The risk of saying things that we know are true. Interestingly enough, this pillar is not in the dead center of this. It is in the center of that. So we're just going to presume that this is correct. It is definitely not going to let me build it while I'm looking up. Okay, we're just going to have to pick one. And if it's horribly off, we'll just have to delete. I think it's there. Oh yeah, totally got it. That is nailed. And then we just need it three more times, but now it should be easier. Oh, but blueprint mode is going to fail us. We're going to have to eyeball it. Three more times. Oh boy. Literally shouldn't try that again. I guess I could use my parachute. I don't know if we need this anymore. Okay. Try it again with a substantially less opportunity to fall to our death.
All right. That looks about right. Oh, would you look at that? Just over a hundred concrete short. It's possible that our dome isn't big enough, but it's as big as it's gonna get. I know I can't build it from here. I'm just curious. Okay. We'll climb back up. Perfect. I might have to go through and delete all this roofing. I don't know if it's working for us. That's gonna be cool. I might have to commit my to, uh, I'm gonna have to take out this whole roof 
and rebuild everything around making this roof perfect for this dome. There is a center spot, right here. It's nice that that worked out. So we could do something like this. We're gonna have to call this soon. I didn't realize we were already 90 minutes in. Oh, it's desperate to make it connect to something I don't want it to connect to. Let's put... Where are you? Right here? So then... If that's the case, then somewhere around... this area what did I do here I built it probably two foundations worth so one two here hopefully maybe Actually, I shouldn't have deleted that. Deleted it a little too soon. See, so now I don't know where my center is. That looks about right. One, two. One, two. And then one, two. And one, two. I have to come back to get that fully connected. And like I said, I'm probably gonna have to rip out all this roof. Ooh, we obviously only want that touching, not going through. Might have to do something special to get that to fully connect. I think you can kind of get a sense of what we're going for here, right? And then right on that center point. Oh, wait, maybe don't delete where you're standing. I just got an idea and I feel myself about to spend 20 minutes on it. So let's just, let's just do it. A 
Well, that's not what I wanted. that underwater? How do I adjust this by increments? I think I need to put foundations down. So I need the water line. And then put what? A four meter pedestal? Ooh, that's too tall. Two seems too short. what I want to do here is have it now I'm thinking I just pedestal it to the earth right have it come up then have this circle be the circle that surrounds it architecture no blueprint no we want the metal beam All right, let's start all the way over. Just start all the way over. Okay. Oh, it's based on a painted beam, not on the, the small pedestal. Hmm. That changes everything. I could just get connected under that. Oh, you're killing me.
Where'd it go? Wait, where did it go? Oh, above me somehow. That's actually really weird. You know, sometimes you start off with a plan and then you get so distracted. I'm in the distracted phase of this conversation. All I want to do is drop a sack of concrete in the middle of this whole area. Let's give ourselves multiple opportunities. stand in the very corner and then we'll turn around and look at the opposite corner then we'll hit that and then we'll drop it right under the control click it's close the control click. Okay, so I'm going to assume that I didn't drop it that time. But I did. I like the idea of this being water in the center. I kind of want it to be, the bonus was trying to think of a way to make it so it had concrete in the center as well. We might have to go without that. It doesn't have the grandeur necessary. Maybe one of our trophies. Are big enough to put there. That's what we should do. We should look for a trophy. It doesn't have to be concrete related. All right, we're going to call it here. I think off camera, I'm going to go through and rip out. Well, let's take a look at these.
Whoops. Let's take a look at these pillars and how they connect to the dome. I'm okay with it being separated. My original plan was for it to have a, a gap. I think the... Either the roof tiles or the eight meter ceiling wall, tilted walls that I use has really offset the balance of everything up here. One thing to consider would be to just paint it. I could just paint it and not care. Just call it a day. That just where it's connected. I think I actually like that. Yeah, it's the black one. Okay. So, hey, we got, you know... A small percentage of our machines in, less than half, like 40%. We got the dome installed, got super distracted. Left a place for our awesome trophy. When the said trophy presents itself, we'll know which one it is. Trying one more thing, then we're going to call it. Oh no. I think I like that better in every way. You tell me, which pillar do you like better? This one on the cardinal directions or this one on the, the middle direction? I think I like this one better because it opens up the, the sight lines. But you know what? I'm gonna post this video and come back to the dome afterwards. I'm gonna allow for comments, see what everybody thinks. So we're about, uh, I'd say, one more build video away 
I'm gonna get rid of all this found uh, roofing. I'm gonna pull that all back. Start over on that. I'm gonna adjust the blueprint to not include limestone. That was a fun sort of thought process. We've tried it. Don't think it works great. It's definitely hard to build with all that extra limestone. And then we'll come back and finish it up. So yeah, we're about one video away. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.